10 years ago, the opioid problem was not the national crisis it is now. Part of that reason is because the extremely powerful opioid fentanyl was a drug you could only get while in the hospital during a major surgery, all while under the watch of a doctor. But that has now changed and doctors are prescribing fentanyl to patients who are recovering from minor knee surgeries, putting patients on a path to addiction and the nation in a state of emergency. Valley Dr. Matthew Crooks is working to curb a problem he says the the medical profession helped create. His Scottsdale play pain clinic does not send patients home with loads of pain pills like Percocet and Vicodin, let alone any use of fentanyl. Rather than load his patients up with pills to band-aid pain, his treatments are, are with cortisone, and that not only, not only stops the pain, but over time heals the pain causing problem. Crooks' clinic, Pinnacle Pain and Spine, sees a lot of patients with back or joint problems. Those are the same type of patients who end up accidentally hooked on opioids. Crooks' cortisone shot helps to prevent that growing problem, allowing most patients to go home medication free and back to work the next day. Crooks says there is no reason a doctor should be prescribing fentanyl for a patient going through a simple surgery. He admits the doctors who have are part of the problem. It's too strong, too dangerous, and again, just like any other opioid, as strong as it is, if your life expectancy is a normal life expectancy, you will become tolerant to that medication, the fentanyl even, and you'll require higher doses of that for the same pain relief. So there is responsibility on the physician's part. Um, some of it is, you know, uh, misplaced, you know, wanting to help the patient, you know, and wanting to treat the pain and not maybe doing their due diligence or their, um, you know, their, their full education in terms of the risks of that medication. And, uh, but, but I do think the physicians do have a role in opening that Pandora's box and allowing that out into the community. The treatment Crooks gives his patients are extremely simple and some of them are done in minutes. Crooks' clinic, Pinnacle Pain and Spine, sees a lot of patients with back or joint problems. Bill Rahr is one of them. He recently re-injured his back after being in the Flagstaff snow. We were inside the operating room as Dr. Crooks unpinched his spinal nerves using just a shot of cortisone. When the surgery is over, Rahr will not need prescription pills and in fact be back to normal likely the next day. Rahr says he's seen the effects of opioids and would rather suffer through the pain than get hooked on a painkiller. He says the alternatives Dr. Crooks is offering is a step in the right direction. What Dr. Crooks does is a real answer, I think, that maybe a lot of people aren't really aware of. When you run out of your 30 pills and you're still hurting and you call the office of whatever physician it might be, they give you another prescription for another 30 pills. And then if they don't want to renew it again, they go to a different doctor and get more pills. You get stuff and you talk about it and I don't, I don't think it's worth, absolutely not worth the gamble. The treatment Dr. Crooks gives his patients is extremely simple, and some of them are done in just a few minutes. He says if patients do need some sort of medication after the surgery, they are, sub they are prescribed a very small amount until the cortisone shot takes the full effect later that day. Dr. Crooks, who we heard from last hour, says fentanyl is 100 times stronger than morphine. He says the only people who need fentanyl outside of the hospital are terminal cancer patients who are in extreme pain at the end of their life. He says any reason short of that is the wrong answer for patients. I'm Kate Monroe, Arizona's family.